our tale of the tape for this strawweight fight. And now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC strawweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Tisha the Tiny Tornado Torres. And now introducing your opponent, fighting out of the red corner, John! You ready to fight? Ready. Go. The tiny tornado, Tisha Torres out of Fall River, Massachusetts. And it's really been remarkable to watch her respond to some career adversity and display a new version, a more aggressive version of Tisha Torres. That is the version she wants to showcase here tonight. And had she won a split decision against Mackenzie Dern a couple years ago, might have already fought for the title. She didn't want to hear that noise. She's ready to get a finish here tonight. Looked like that body kick got home. Torres going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. Stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown do? Whitney gets caught with that punch. All right, early round action here in Zhang Wei Li not wasting any time finding a home for that right hand. A beautiful right hand. You know, we saw this in the Jessica Andrade fight, her title-winning performance, where she overwhelmed her with that shot that put her out. Zhang Wei Li is a tremendous athlete, and when she explodes into this punch, she is as good as they come. Torres gets hit with a kick. We have crossed the midpoint here in our opening round. Her hands are down. Set that leg kick up. Oh, the inside leg kick lands immediately a mark on her part. Back to the over now. Yeah, that looks good. What a strike by her there. I'd be knocked out. Her opponent still stands. She's still standing, but she's got to get on her bike, John. She's got to get out to the center of the octagon, find some space so that she can evade her opponent from finishing it. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Mixing it up well tonight. There's a shot to the leg. Really finding the kicking range now. Another one lands there. Torres gets caught by that straight punch there. Ooh, another shot. Oh, you got to keep pressing here. Could be the beginning of the end. Now we're going. Now to go on the round. She's stepping over the mount here. She is so dominant from the top position. Huge, Huge elbow there. there. Oh man, another strike gets through. This could be over soon. Good work from the top here by Zhang Wei Li. And there she goes again, landed another strike on the ground. She's got her back now, DC, and I don't mean she's like there to support her, right? She is literally on her back and in control of this fight. She's in control of this fight. Uh, uh, the birds are trying to slide uh, that arm under the neck to finish the fight with a choke. Nice kicks. Those are some beautiful kicks there, okay? You need to keep it up. She can't stop those kicks. You're landing every single kick on her, okay? All right, so what a round it was, DC. Take us through some of the highlights. Got to think her kicking game is going to be featured prominently here. She did decent work with the hands, but the kicking game was the thing that truly separated her from her opponent. She was landing kick after kick and truly slowing down her opponent in that round. All right, both fighters ready to go now with round two. Wei Li Zhang and Tisha Torres. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Oh, right hand lands again for Zhang Weili. Zhang Weili starting to feel it now, man. She's starting to get off of that right hand. Probably her best strike of the fight. Her best strike, and you don't see this type of power level in this weight class, but she lands, and she lands very effectively. Trying to kick the leg out. 
Oh, nice jab by Shaw. Tries to work it into a takedown. Oh, she goes to the counter right now, but misses. Now she gains some separation. Right to the single collar. She was able to close the distance, and now she's in her position. Both fighters starting to open up a little bit. One of her coaches, the captain, Eric Albadacin, has said John Wei Lee is the most gifted athlete he's ever coached me in Starting to show serious signs of bruising now. She gets to the single collar tie. Look for her to move the opponent. Pull the head down and try to wear on her gas tank. Well, we told you about that hook. There it is. Oh, nicely done by her there. She's got the single collar in the clinch. Under two minutes to go in our second round. Well placed kick there by Torres. Well, that's her best strike, that hook, and she's able to land it yet again here. She lands it once again. She tells you what she's gonna do. You gotta be able to stop. Most can't, and once again, she finds herself in front and mostly behind that hook. Really good job to land these strikes from top position. Torres is in half guard. And now she's in mount. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Great slip. Even though her opponent's throwing, she's not finding much success. Shaw getting worked here from the top. Ground and pound strikes raining down. Well, you know she can do it all in the octagon tonight. She is largely a striker, and man, has she had it going really from the opening bell. From the start of the fight, you could see that she was different tonight. You could see that she was going to lean on the cardio, set a high pace, and hope that her opponent could not keep up. But not only is she fighting hard, she is landing just about everything that she throws. Torres is back in full mount. Ten minutes in the books. Great round. Relax. Breathe. All right, here's some water. Now listen, I want you to stay sharp. Don't get suckered into that crap. I want you to get out of there. All right, there's the horn. Let us now check out some of the action from that round, DC. What a display of striking. Yeah, John, she did a great job. I mean, she knew exactly what she needed to do, and she mixed everything up beautifully, right? Every punch landed to a kick. Whenever her opponent thought kicks, she would follow up with punches. It was a master class in striking over the course of that round. You ready to fight? Ready. Do Here we go. Now five minutes remain in the fight. All right, so that last round, another pretty good fight. Is that a huge strike right there, DC? Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down and get another one off to finish the fight. Oh, and there is the kick. That one checked by Jean. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh, nice shot to the body, connects for her there. Somewhat surprising, we didn't see a lot of body work from her earlier in the fight, but she is getting after it now. Keep that pressure high now. Sean's coming. Oh, she's in a world of trouble. We'll see if she can survive. Oh, elbow lands there. Oh. Now we landed clean. Well, that knee strike attempt blocked by Sean Wayland. All right, so her calf now starting to show some real signs of bruising, DC. And that only works because her lead leg is her opponent's lead leg. It's the split stance. It's two conventional fighters, so that kick is available to her. Nice kick to the body. Oh, my goodness. Back and forth we go. Massive shots being landed on both sides. Under, what a strike by her there. I'd be knocked out. Her opponent 
still standing. She's still standing, but she's got to get on her bike, John. She's got to get out to the center of the outcome, find some space so that she can evade her opponent oh. finishing. Oh, nice body shot. Oh, big left. Well, she whiffs on the straight right hand. Trying to establish that jab once again. Well, we could be looking at an epic comeback here. She rocked her significantly, but wasn't able to finish the fight, and now her opponent maybe creeps back in. Her opponent will now try to find a way to work her way back into this fight. It will be on her to once again land one of those brutal punches to try to knock her out this time. Oh, nice strike there, and... Yes, it appears as though she has cut her opponent wide open. It looks like she cut her. Now, my question is, how does she address the cut and going forward in the fight after taking such a damaging shot? Oh, what a incredible fight as long as it played out, and we will need the judges' scorecards. Tremendous back-and-forth affair tonight. All right, so the fighters go the distance. Pretty competitive fight, but certainly there was a striking advantage, and it was hers. The advantage belonged to her. And you knew the longer she would be able to keep this fight upright, the better the chances were that she was going to get the victory. This fight never hit the ground, and she used that striking to win a pretty easy decision. The official decision is in. Bruce Buffer has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 29-28. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, John Magnum wins! All right, nicely done. They're going to enjoy watching the film back, I would think, as she gets a clear decision win on all three judges' scorecards and got to give her a lot of confidence going forward to be able to beat a striker on this level. Yeah, to be able to fight anyone because she fought one of the best kickboxers that she will see over the course of her career. She dominated her. So that has got to give her a ton of confidence knowing that if someone has a singular skill set, she can really dominate them and make a fight exactly where she needs them to in order to dominate and get a massive decision victory.